On Tuesday, the World Trade Organization will convene the fifth global review of aid for trade in Geneva. This year's theme is reducing trade costs for inclusive and sustainable growth. The event will bring together leaders from a number of sectors, from government, from development banks, from the private sector, and other international organizations. One of the key themes will be about how trade can contribute to the post-2015 agenda. And we recently spoke to Arancha Gonzalez, the executive director of the International Trade Center, about where the Aid for Trade review fits into this process. What we have learned in these 15 years is that the gains we, may, we have made in reduction of poverty, in increasing health care, in reducing child mortality, in increasing the participation of women in society requires a strong economy. And a strong economy means growth, and growth requires trade. So this conference is about making sure we, this time around we don't forget this trade engine as part of the development mix. Now, for many countries, trade cannot just be trade opportunities, which is what happens when you negotiate trade agreements. For many countries, trade has to become a reality. They have to be able to increase exports, to increase imports, to be capable of attracting investment, and for that, trade capacity building is essential. Discussions will also focus on the ratification and implementation of the WTO's Trade Facilitation Agreement and the Trade Facilitation Agreement Facility. Axel Addy, Liberia's Minister for Commerce and Industry, said there's likely to be a bit of stock taking of where we stand in the aid for trade movement. Here's what he had to say about the impact of reducing trade barriers in his country. I believe trade is the magic bullet to transform Africa and alleviate poverty in Africa. Most young people that graduate today, okay, graduate with some of the most basic aspirations to live in dignity, uh, to fulfill uh, uh, their potential in an environment that supports uh, their creativity. If you see the innovations that young people are driving in terms of the SME's innovation, at the very low level, okay, they are creating jo uh, jobs. And as today's conference is focused on with the theme of dignity, you know, it is giving young people dignity in Africa. And so we should be advocating for aid for trade because ideally, in order to move Africa from a, a position of a consuming continent to a productive continent, we must invest in trade facilitation. And to do that, it will mean that the necessary reforms uh, that need to be put in place must be put in place, and that can only come from support. I think lasting solution comes from creating an entrepreneurial revolution in Africa. When the average young person in Africa that is able to make it through education and graduate desires to not go into public service, but to start our own business, then we have achieved a lot. So I think aid, aid for trade has a tremendous value in changing the post-2015 debate. And I think the private sector can be the driver of that. We'll bring you more coverage about the review, about the role of aid and trade, and certainly about the post-2015 process from Audis to the SDG Summit in September. Stay tuned to devx.com for more.